So I want to talk about an interview that Al Lazar did yesterday with SiriusXM because he had a few things to say that I think can sort of give us an insight into what's going on right now when it comes to Al Lazard, his future, what it looks like right now with his talks with the Packers. And so let's just get right on into it. First off, he was asked by this, um, by one of the guys on the show, um, they were asked if he's had talks with Green Bay. And he said this, my agent, I believe, has started to talk to them a little bit in recent weeks, but they haven't said anything as far as preventing me from going to the open market. So free agency in the NFL begins in about two to three weeks, March 15th. And considering that quote right there, it doesn't sound to me from that quote that the Packers are really willing to offer Alan Lazard, but he really believes he is worth and what he believes he can fetch in the open market when it comes to all the other teams in the NFL potentially willing to bid on a guy on a receiver in Alan Lazard. And so because of that, it seems like Lazard is likely going to test the free agent market. And I'm guessing another team is willing to potentially pay more than the Packers are willing to pay him. Who knows? Maybe in the next couple weeks, the Packers say, you know what, let's maybe bump up our offer a little bit, see if he'll stick around. Because right now, the Packers wide receiver situation, there's some good, there's some bad. There's lots of uncertainty. We have some solid young weapons, Christian Watson, Romeo Dobbs, Samori Touré. Um, I think especially Watson and Dobbs next year are really going to take another step forward after already having almost an entire full season under their belts as rookies. We've seen just how explosive they can be. But outside of those two guys and Samori Touré, there is lots of uncertainty here at receiver with Lazard, who was the Packers' leading receiver, 60 receptions, 788 yards last year with Devontae Adams gone. Randall Cobb, also a free agent as well. If Lazard ends up leaving and Cobb does as well, the Packers are going to need to find someone out there in the market um, to bring in here because even though I love Watson and Dobbs, I think we need some more depth there at receiver. And the question really is, like, would the Packers be willing to pay Lazard what he, what he really wants? And honestly, from that quote from Lazard, it doesn't sound like they're really willing to. And I want to now read a few other quotes from Lazard that sort of show just his desire to sort of see what he can get elsewhere. He said this, all players wish to be in this position at some point in their career, having played a good season and having the option to go wherever you really truly desire. I'm definitely excited to hear and see all the teams that will be interested and go through with my agent and family and see what the best option is. Then he says, I think everybody would prefer the sun over the cold. That's just natural. I kind of want to venture out and live in a different region. At the end of the day, this is my career and I'm going to take it wherever it needs to to be wherever it needs me to go to get to where I want to go as far as my individual career. Weather definitely helps, but it's not the end all be all. So it really sounds like Azard is really wanting to test out to see what other teams out there could be willing to offer him. Um, and it sounds to me like Lazard sticking around in Green Bay doesn't sound super likely. And I think when you look at the Packers, their salary cap situation, it could be that they don't want to pay Lazard, you know, $12 million a year because they're going to have to find a way to pay other players, find other free agents. And right now we're only about $5 million. We're about $5 million over the salary cap. And that could, they may not be willing to pay Lazard what he really thinks he's worth. Personally, I would be happy to bring Lazard back at around, you know, $12, $13 million. If we look to last year with Marcos Valdez-Scantling leaving the Packers, he got about three-year... $10 $10 million per year contract with the Chiefs. And I think Lazard should be paid a little bit higher than a Marquez Valdez-Scantling just because of his all-around ability when it comes to blocking in the running game. His ability as a receiver, he can sort of do it all. And he's definitely not an elite uh, an elite wide receiver, but I still think he's a player who can be very productive on you know many different teams around the NFL. And with Devontae gone, as I said last year, we saw him be the Packers' leading receiver. So if he does sign elsewhere, which... It sort of seems like things are heading that way. The Packers are going to need to bolster this wide receiver unit, even though we have some young talent. We're going to need some some veterans, potentially a veteran, potentially draft another receiver tied in in the draft, whether it is Aaron Rodgers or Jordan Love, because if Jordan Love comes in here, if Rodgers doesn't end up playing or starting or goes elsewhere or retires, Love's going to need some more weapons as well. And I think that for any quarterback in the NFL, we see it, time and time again, you know, the better weapons you have, the better you're going to be when it comes to your offense. It's, it's pretty hard to produce when you don't have some elite wide receivers um, on your squad, which I think honestly we do. I think Christian Watson, I have high hopes in what he can do. He started to flash at the end of last year and Romeo Dobbs as well. I think those could be two, you know, top 15, 20 receivers in the NFL. And that's, that's not too bad. Christian Watson could get up there. They both could get up there. So I think there's lots of nice things on this offense to build around. 
but with the young receiver core, I feel like we got to find some other kind of free agent out there. Maybe he's going to be got to be cheaper than Lazard if we're not willing to pay him. But at the same time, who knows? Maybe Packers and Lazard somehow figure it out in the end. But I just right now, if I had to guess, I would say Lazard's going elsewhere. Just from all the comments he said, it sort of looks like things are heading that way. But we will see what happens there. Just wanted to cover those uh, quotes from Lazard because I thought they were interesting. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you would like to stay up to date with all Packers news, feel free to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.